I am actually going to be doing something a little bit fun today. I got my first pre-order from the upcoming um, May, I guess it's 2024 to 2025 annual catalog from Stampin' Up! Uh, in the mail. And so, yay, it's here, and uh, I thought I would show you. I'm hoping that I'm live. It looks like I am, but for some reason it's not coming up yet uh, to notify on my page here. So hopefully I'm live and going, and... Um, there, there we go. Okay. It took it a minute. <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, anyway, so if you're hopping in, this is the new catalog cover and I know it's a lot different than, uh, what many of us are used to with, uh, stamp it up and their catalogs. Usually it's all full of, you know, crafting supplies and whatever, but this one's kind of a pretty, just a little different. And what, what I like about it, I don't know how well it shows on the video is these little leaves around the edge are actually like embossed. They have a little texture to them. So they're, it, and they're kind of shiny and it's just, it's a cool little catalog cover and so is actually the stamp it up logo is the same way and the little um <clears throat> the arch around it as well as the um, printing the excuse me the annual catalog printing so um so this is the new catalog and the layout is completely changed and i know some of us love it and some of us not as much but we'll all get used to it it's a catalog that, you know, it's still full of great products and um yeah so it's going to take me a minute to find everything again and um but yeah it's there's some really good stuff in it so I kind of am looking past the, the layout of it and just trying to dive into that. I love the product, so I can't, you know, I can't be sad about the catalog. So, all right, let me set this aside. And I see Sally and Judy and Debbie and uh, Mary Ruth and Akiko, Karen, uh, Danette, K Tara. Yay, everybody, glad you're here. And it is, a, it's a pretty little catalog cover, so yay. All right, <clears throat> before I get started, if I can stop coughing for a minute, I just wanted to remind you that I have got a double running shoe reward point ordering bonus going on right now with the retiring list just being announced. I uh, just wanted to offer up a little bonus so that to uh, help you get the last few things you want out of the current annual catalog and mini catalog. Um, so all of those things are going to be going away. Um, any of the retiring items will be going away on the 30th of April and they're only available while supplies last. So make sure that you're grabbing what you want now. Um, there are a handful of things that are going to go on sale around the 9th of April. So if you want to hold off and see if those items are still available and get the sale prices, you can do that. Um, but if you want to make sure it's something you really want, make sure you're ordering now. All right, let's get on with it. Okay, so let's start with the new in colors, which is always my favorite thing to start with. I'm going to lay them all out here for a second, and then we'll talk about each one individually. I will see if I can remember <laughs> the names of all of them off the top of my head. I didn't write anything down, which I probably should have. <laughs> so, all right. So we have Peach Pie over here on the left, Pretty in Pink, which, yes, I did find out that it officially is a returning color. This was a color, um, oh, gosh, I want to say it retired back in like 2012-ish time frame, maybe 2013. It was, I I remember the color, but um, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, so anyway, so I did, it, but it's been a minute. <laughs> so you have, oh, I actually don't have on a, one of the colors. It's close, Karen, I guess, close, <laughs> but nope, it's not. This one's a little more, I would say, maybe Berry Burst, closer to that one. So, um, oh, retired uh, when you joined in 2012. Okay, cause that's what I was thinking, because I remember the color, but I joined in 2012 as well, and I didn't remember it being a color that hung around very long. So, all right, so pretty in pink, and then we have summer splash i think i got that one right um and then this one is a petunia pop and then we have shy shamrock so they're all um pretty and to me they just it's spring and summer and all the colors that i love so i'm happy to see them all here um i think they're going to be fun i did grab a couple of pieces of cardstock now i don't have any of the retired colors anymore so if you're looking for comparisons to those you're i don't have them <laughs> so but i can tell you um so this is coastal cabana and i'm going to put it here next to summer splash and you can see they're definitely at least I can see it in my hand, definitely different colors. Um, Coastal Cabana is a lighter. This one to me has a little more green to it maybe. Um, it's a little deeper color, but I think they're gonna pair nicely together. So these are the, again, Summer Splash, and then we've got Coastal Cabana is over here. And then um, Petunia Pop, I thought actually when I looked at it initially, I'm like, oh, that looks just like Fresh Freesia. Of course, until I pull out the fresh freesia cardstock and then i go oh it's nowhere near 
<laughs> so this is fresh freesia, and this is petunia pop. So my first guess was totally wrong, not even in the ballpark. And then also grabbed Highland Heather because that was kind of a similar, you know, again, a, kind of a lighter shade of purple. Again, not at all like it. So um, someone mentioned maybe similar to the sweet sugar plum that we had a while back. Again, I don't have the retired colors anymore, so I can't verify that, but definitely different shade than the two current purples that we've got in the Subtles family. So um, perfect plum. I don't, I remember that color being much more dusty than, than this one, Karen. So I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say for sure because I'm always wrong when it comes to the colors. So, all right. So that's it for the uh, the new in colors, the card stocks. And then of course there are blends. I don't have them, I didn't open them up yet, but there are blends in all of the new in colors. And ink pads in all of the new in colors. Not very exciting stuff to show you. And then of course, um, we've got stamp and write markers in the new in colors. So these are pretty, come in a pack. Um, so there we go. And there are ribbons in all the new in colors. So this is your Shy Shamrock. And this ribbon is called um, 3 8 inch bordered ribbon. So it's kind of got a little stitching along the edge of it. I'll hold it up here. Oh, maybe if I can get, there we go. Um, hold it up here near the screen. Hopefully you can see the little bit of stitching on it. Um, so again, these are all the new in colors and it's the same uh, ribbon in all the new in colors. So, hey, Darlene and Tina, glad you're hopping on. So, uh, and then this one is your summer splash. I keep wanting to call it summer sky and I know that it's not right. It is summer splash, <laughs> but for some reason, um, uh, basic beige is a new color. Yes, completely new color. So um, then we have got uh, peach pie. And again, it's that same bordered ribbon. And Tara's telling me it ties really nicely too. It is, it's a really soft ribbon. So I think it's going to tie nicely and it's fairly flat. So it's not a real thick ribbon, which um, makes it much nicer for card making. So yep, Tara's right as always. <laughs> it's really easy to tie bows with it. Um, and it's pretty. And then we've got pretty in pink again. And then the final one is Petunia Pop. So those are the new in color ribbons. Then we've got some in color shimmer gems and you'll note that a couple are missing on here because I already made a project with them and I posted it on my blog this morning and I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so, hey Alicia, I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you're able to join me today. So, um, so these are the 2024 to 2026 in color shimmer gems. And we've had gems like this before. They're just, they're really shiny and really pretty and fairly flat, which is nice for mailing. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a look at what they are. They've got kind of a, a real fine glitter in them is what it looks like to me. So really pretty. Um, of course, I always, yes, of course, Tara, because you're always right. <laughs> and I'm usually wrong. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got some new, again, these are 2024 to 2026 in color six by six designer series paper. It's a pack of 40 sheets. There are, I should not try to do math on screen. I believe that there are four sheets, no, two sheets, four sheets. I don't, I'm not even going to guess. I think there are four sheets of each design in here, but don't quote me on that because like I said, math um, off the top of my head is not one of my strengths. So this is one side of each. So we got cute little polka dots on here and stripes over here. And then the flip side has got the pretty uh, greenery on it. And um, I don't even know how to describe that, a design on the other side. I'll hold the designed one up a little bit closer so hopefully you can see it um, and you can take your guesses as to what it is. So uh, glad you all are here and yay, thanks for hopping in today. So, and this one is um, Petunia Pop. Again, it's the same paper and flip it over. Same on the other side. I agree, Christy, these are, okay. I, I like these better than the current ones. We'll just say that. <laughs> because I'm a huge polka dot and stripe person. Those are my two favorite go-tos for the backgrounds, and I know I'll be using tons of these. And the, the um, greenery one, too, and this one's really kind of a more muted pattern, so I think these are going to make great background pieces or little strips of whatever you want to put on a card. So that was Shy Shamrock. I get busy yucking. Um, and then this is Peach Pie. Flip it over the other side. And then Pretty in Pink, same thing. Just going to flip it over and the other side. All right. So there is the six by six paper in the new in colors as well. And yes, I'm glad y'all are loving them because yes, I agree, Carol, it's perfect Easter spring 
all the all the good things. So, um, hey, Beverly, glad you're here today. So, all right, let's pull in the first suite, and I should have l written all the names of the suites down, but of course I did not. So I'm gonna have to. Um, this one is called Unbounded Beauty. Is the name of the suite, and it is one of those that they call mega dot uh, me mega dots. I'm reading. <laughs> Kara's comment, she said, polka dots, yes, I love them, and then I said mega dots. Mega sweets, where it's got the two bundles with it, designer series paper, um, the little memories and more card packs, some glitter paper, some dots, so we'll look at all of them here. So this is the Unbounded Love stamp set, and it's all words, which is awesome, and it is one of the million-dollar sellers. It is Debbie Mozek, I think is how she says her name, and I probably totally ruined it, but something like that. <laughs> so, um, oh, yours is sitting on the porch. You'll get it soon. Don't worry. <laughs> so we've got Unbounded Love. Um, great set of sentiments. Really pretty. Um, love the mixed fonts on that. So I'll hold that for a second so you can look at it. It's a good one. And then there are the Unbounded Love dies that coordinate with the sentiments, which Yay, we are always in need of more of the um, dies that cut out sentiments. So there are all sorts of dies that will cut out your images here. Oh, and it does say that these are only 80%. So let me open it up on the inside and show you the real size of the images. So they're a little larger than they look on the, the front of the stamp set. All right. So again, we've got our dies that coordinate with it. And then there are some little accessory dies here. Those are, that's an accessory, that one is. And I love this little frame that's got the leaves on it. So a pretty die set, again, called Unbounded Love. And it coordinates with the Unbounded Love photopolymer stamp set. All right, set that aside. And then we've got the Flowers of Beauty. And again, as with all of the bundle or all of the sweets, you can always buy the items individually. Um, there's no requirement to buy it all together. But if you want the easy button and just want it all, then you just push the sweet button and order it. <laughs> so, um, but again, the items are all available individually. So you don't have to buy it all together in a big group. If you only love the one stamp set and maybe not the other, then you can, you know, buy it however you want to. So, all right, we've got another photopolymer stamp set. And this one again is um, a little bit larger than it appears on the front cover. So that is the, um, the little, um, that is the actual size of the images. And it's two-step stamping. So we've got these two that stamp one on top of the other, and then these two that do. And they're designed, I believe all of these will stamp its, you know, outline a little bit more detailed and then stamp the flowers over that and then this flower over that. I think that it all coordinates together. I haven't actually played with it, so I can't say for sure, but I believe that's how it works. These two look like they stamp together or work together. This one, this one, and then these. So, and then here's a little flower center as well. So this is one of those pretty two-step stamping um, stamp sets. And then we've got the Flowers of Beauty dies. These are some cute little border dies uh, that you can either cut a border with or you can just cut a whole bunch of little flowers if you're doing a shaker card or want to stick some little flowers randomly on your card front. Um, those are some great dies for that. This one will cut out your uh, stamped image. This one cuts out this stamped image. This one will cut out that one. This one will cut out that one. Um, this one will cut out the little flower stamped image. Um, and then we've got some, again, just some accessory kind of greenery type dies. So. It is, I agree, this is a beautiful, beautiful set. All right, then we have got the Unbounded Beauty Memories and More card pack, and it's, the colors in it are Berry Burst, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash. So it's basically all of the new in colors with the addition of Berry Burst. So um, again, I'm not gonna go through every one of these, but kind of um, just some pretty little images, some good sentiments. Flipping them over on the back side. The back side's usually a little bit more um, just kind of backgroundy type cards. And then there are the, the larger ones. Um, and again, these are designed, they can either be used for cards or you can also use them for memory keeping. So again, flipping over the back side, just have a little, that one's got a sentiment on it, make time to play. And then, um, oh, that's a cute happy birthday sentiment. So uh, that is the card pack. And again, keep in mind, this is only the pre-order. We have a select list of things that we can pre-order from. So this is not everything in the catalog, <laughs> but it's a lot. It's pretty much everything we could pre-order. <laughs> so, all right, these are the 2024 to 2026 in color resin dots, and they are technically in this suite. So again, you don't have to buy them as part of the suite. You can get them totally separately if you want to, but 
just know that you can also get them as part of the suite and they're really pretty and they're flat, which I mean, not completely flat, but almost flat. So um, good for card fronts and good for, um, you know, adding to anything. So, all right. So again, these are all the new in colors that we just uh, ran through. Then we have got the Unbounded Beauty 12 by 12 designer series paper. So this is the full size. Oh, things are tumbling already and I'm hardly even getting started. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Um, so designer series paper. I'm just going to run through these again. Same colors in the paper as uh, in the card pack, which is berry burst. Oh, this has got Calypso coral, peach pie, petunia pop, pretty in pink, pretty peacock. That's another one that's new um, in the paper, but not in the, the card pack. Uh, Shy shamrock and summer splash. So um, there, that is one page of it. So colors, it's it's a little bit more, a little lighter what I'm looking at in my hand than what I can see on the screen. So it's definitely more of a, a very light pink background, which unfortunately or fortunately isn't showing up very well on my video. Uh, flip side of it is some, just a really good background, kind of full of greenery and leaves and pretty things. Then we've got this one, which I love the colors in this one, which kind of surprises me because it, it looks a little like the late 80s, early 90s to me, but I guess that's when I was a kid. So... <laughs> So I have to like those colors. Um, that's what I remember, you know, that we had those decorations in my room when I was a kid. So, all right, flip side. And then got some pretty flowers on this one. This one maybe has a really pale pink background. It's hard to say because I don't have anything really white up here that I can compare it to. But it, to me, it looks a little pink, but it could just be my bad eyes too. Well, now that I turn it that way, I think it's truly a white background. So, uh then we got the flip side, which is uh, the pretty and pink version of the greenery. The 90s really did rule. <laughs> so, all right, uh, got some pretty flowers on this one. And the flip side has got just your kind of backgroundy look. Pretty flowers on this one. Flipping it over. And just got kind of the, again, this totally looks like the early 90s to me. <laughs> So, and it's same thing with this paper, early 90s all over it in the purples and blues. And then the flip side has got the peach on it. So that is the Unbounded Beauty 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper Pack. And then we have the 2024 to 2026 in color glimmer paper, uh, glimmer specialty paper, I'm sorry. And it is 12 by 12. And again, oh, the, the color on this is way different than what I see on my screen. It's much brighter in person. So color, it's always so hard to get lighting right on these videos and showing you things. So I don't know if I stuck a white background under it, if maybe it would show up a little bit better, but it is, it's a really bright kind of shiny glitter paper and it's really pretty and it doesn't shed. Yay. <laughs> so we've got uh, peach pie and then petunia pop, pretty in pink, shy shamrock and summer splash. So we've got all the in colors in that. And again, it's part of the suite, but you don't have to buy it as part of the suite if you uh, just want to get it on its own. All right. The next one is a really awesome suite for, uh, uh, yeah, side ponytail, it, yeah, <laughs> neon half shirts. No, I'm not really ready for those yet. <laughs> I got to do a little more working out before I can pull that one off. So uh, so this is a cool, uh, well, to me, it's a little more masculine, but definitely, you know, if you, anybody that loves outdoors, flying, whatever, it's a cool suite for that. So this is called the Take to the Sky Suite. And again, all these are available either as... Um, a whole suite or you can buy them individually so we've got the adventurous sky and uh, it is a cling mount stamp set and i'll flip it over because it's a little bit smaller on the front than it is actually in your hand so i'll turn it like that and hopefully you can see um, the image is pretty well on there obviously they're backwards because uh, it's the stamp set so uh, and it is a red rubber stamp and just got a happy Father's Day, flying by to say hi, you're the best. There's a happy birthday. Um, this one's, it's kind of a cool image. Like it's like an old, um, I don't know, the side of an old airplane is what that looks like to me. Then we've got our airplanes, got the clouds. So it's a great, great stamp set. And then there are some coordinating dies called Adventurous Skies dies. And 
this one and this one, the two outline, I've got them upside down, probably easier to see right side up. So this one and this one are gonna cut out your stamped images. And then these will, whoops, these two will, three, will cut out the clouds. This one cuts out the little airplane. This one cuts out a cool little banner. And then this piece, this piece, and the little propellers in here, actually you can die cut those and make your own airplane out of whatever colors you want without having to stamp it at all. And then this actually is like a little toe for the banner. So these two work together and you basically can make your little banner so that it, it hangs off the back of your airplane, which is really cool. <laughs> so um, anyhow, I thought it was cool. So that is the Adventure Sky Dies. And yes, we, just, we do really need some good masculine sets. And I think this is one. So um, let me, whoop, I'll set that over here. And then with that, there are some industrial trinkets is what they're called. These do not have adhesive on the back of them, uh, but they're flat and a glue dot, I got plastic sticking all over me. Um, so a glue dot will definitely hold these down. And they look like little, I don't know, they called rivets on the side of an airplane. I don't know, I'm not very technical when it comes to that stuff. But whatever the things are, the bolt things that hold the plane together. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they look like to me. And again, they're flat on one side, so they'll stick on um, your projects really easy. And actually, I mean, they're not way, way flat, but they're not really thick either. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but they're not they're not super thick. So you would be able to put them on a card front. You probably were, would require um, the like 20 cents additional postage on it, but I think you could mail them out still. So hamburger set in the TV. Yep, they're definitely, there are some good masculine ones in this, this uh, catalog for sure. So this is the Take to the Sky 12 by 12 designer series paper. It, the colors in it are boho blue, copper clay, mossy meadow, night of navy, and smoky slate. So lots of good colors in it. So this one's got your little biplanes all over it, which is pretty awesome. And it's got little blue clouds. Hopefully you can see those on the background if I hold it up a little closer. And then flip side has got what looks like an old kind of, is it to topographic map? I think that's what they call those, where it shows the different elevations of things. So to me, this looks like kind of almost underwater, like looking at down at the ocean floor kind of mapping. And the next one is just all clouds, which I love this. And I know I'm going to use this for sure um, and putting the little airplanes on it. The flip side is some awesome plaid which is another one of my favorites. And it's, it's uh, gray, so smoky slate on that one. And then we've got kind of the outline or the drawing look for the, the little uh, biplanes. I think they're all biplanes. I'm, again, I probably shouldn't talk like that because I don't know for sure. <laughs> and um, you can see that there's a little bit of a grid pattern. Hopefully you can see it on the background of this. So it's just a very slightly drawn little tiny grid, grid all the way across the back of it. Hey, Sam, thanks for hopping in from England. And then this one is, again, it looks sort of like the, the little sides, you know, pieces bolted onto an airplane. I don't know, again, I don't know all the technical terms for it, but it's cool. <laughs> and then we have another one here that looks like a big kind of chunk off of a world map in uh, green, Mossy Meadow, I believe was the green in that one. And this, this is just an awesome kind of basic plaid all right, it is a really cool one. I love this one. And then here is that same paper, only this is in the shades of blue. And again, I'll hold it up so hopefully you can see the little grid that is in the background. Hopefully the camera will, will focus on it. So, yep, I think you can see it. And then flip it over, and then we've got kind of a kind of a plaid look. Uh, there's probably a term for it, but designs, I don't ever know. It looks plaid to me. There's a little bit, you know, I'll hold it up, a um, little bit of texture to the plaid, if that makes sense. And then the final one is one of those awesome ones where you can cut it into pieces. Um, the, it's nice because actually if you cut it here, cut it here, then it makes, you know, it, you'll be able to cut up the different pieces to it. And then there are some awesome little tags down here on the bottom. Um, so again, I'll, I guess I can slowly kind of hold this and run it over so you can see that a little bit better. And then flip side just looks like a big world map with little airplanes all over it. So the paper is really awesome. This is a great, it's a great suite. I'm really, I was excited to see it and excited we got to pre-order it. So again, that's called Take to the Sky Suite and with the Adventurous Sky uh, Stamp Set Bundle. All right. Ooh. Ooh. That almost all went tumbling off the back side of my table. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> So, all right, let me see. Um, this one is called, 
thoughtful, no, no, oh, wrong paper. Thoughtful Journey is the name of this suite, and it's uh, got two papers in it, one stamp set. So this is the Thoughtful Wishes stamp set, and it is a cling mount one. And it is the actual size um, shown on the front cover of the stamp set. So it's one of the red rubber ones. It's got Dearest Friend, Thinking of You Fondly, Thanks, Missing You, I Appreciate You, and You Make Life Better. And then the beautiful um, kind of plant or greenery kind of images, and then there's a little splatter that we can always use to make fun backgrounds. Ah, uh, see, Karen, you just need to come hang with us at one of the events and then you'll, you'll want it all anyway. <laughs> so there were some really great examples that uh, the demonstrators that presented these projects or presented these suites did um, at the event too. So these are the Thoughtful Wishes dies. So we have this one and this one that cut out the stamped images here. And then the rest of these are just what I call accessory dies. So they will cut out uh, greenery pieces that coordinate, but not necessarily, it doesn't cut out any more of the stamped images. So this one's actually a pretty cool one. That's like a big kind of swag look to it. And then we've got our little um, flowers, the little, again, greenery images. And yeah, more leaves. So a beautiful die set called Thoughtful Wishes. Again, it's a bundle, bundled together, and you'll save 10%. So, hey, Karen, no problem. Glad you're able to hop in. So I try, Joan. <laughs> I do try because I want you all to love it as much as I do. <laughs> So, all right, this is the Thoughtful Journey 6x6 Designer Series paper, and it's another one of those beautiful kind of watercolory look papers, which I absolutely love. These are so easy for cards. Basically, you just have to cut it down to card front size, put a sentiment on it, maybe a few little gems or ribbon, and it's done. So, again, thought by Thoughtful Journey 6x6 Designer Series paper. The colors are Blackberry Bliss, Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, uh, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. That's a lot of peas in there. So <laughs> it's, again, I agree, Debbie, this is probably my favorite pack of paper in the entire catalog. It's beautiful. So, so this is one side. It's got the pretty kind of thistle look flowers on it. Again, kind of a watercolory look to it. And the flip side is just shades of purple. And then this one, again, it sort of looks, to me, it looks like a maybe a lake, sunset-y kind of lake. You can maybe flip it the other way around and have it be mountains, I don't know, mountains and trees. It can be whatever you want it to be. But what I see is a lake on here. And then the flip side has got shades of blue on it, kind of a pretty deeper, pretty peacock kind of colors. And then this one, again, has the pretty thistle images on it. Love anything purple. Yeah, purple is growing on me. I will say it's not, pink is kind of my go-to and I'm so not a pink person, but pink is always the color I reach for. So I can't say I'm really team pink and, you know, I hate purple, but, you know, it is what it is. So, all right, so purples and yellows and a little bit of blue on that one. And this one's kind of cool. I love that it's got the little kind of, looks like you watercolored your, your images on there. So, or watercolored your little uh, greenery images on there. So, hey, Lois, glad you're hopping in. So the thistle paper is awesome. So flipping it over. And this one to me, again, looks maybe like an ocean or a, you know, a lake and a mountain. So you could kind of make that one be whatever you want it to be. Love this one. Love the trees on it. Love the colors on it. Team Peach Pot, uh, yes. Tara, actually, that is the one orange that I do love. <laughs> and I will fully admit the rest of the oranges that we have right now, you could keep all of them, except my peach pie. That one, you're not taking. <laughs> So, all right, so I've got, again, another one of those that's got the pretty little uh, kind of greenery images on the background and flipping it over. And again, this one looks, you could make it into whatever you want it to be, but it um, looks like kind of a, uh, I don't know, maybe a meadow or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, you could be whatever you want it to be on that one. And then the flip side has got wild wheat, which is not my favorite color, so we'll just go right on by that one. <laughs> And then we've got um, uh, this one. I love that. This one looks like, a, again, just like you're out in a, a pasture or something walking through the grass. So that's what that one looks like to me. And kind of can almost see some little, almost looks like flowers in there. I don't know if they were intended to be flowers, but that's what they need. So it's just beginning. Uh, yeah. No. Calypso coral is nope. Never. <laughs> It'll be like wild wheat to me. <laughs> So, all right, and then this one again has got that same kind of cool greenery look to it. Flipping it over, a little watercolory look on the back, and I love this one as well with the kind of, looks like you're out in a little meadow walking around. 
And then actually the flip side of this one does too. Those look almost like little trees to me, kind of off in the distance. And then we've got uh, this one that's got the little flower images on it. Flip it over and it's just got the kind of greenish blues on the background. And I love this one. Got little trees, little flowers, a little greenery there. And then flip side, I also love. So this is a beautiful pack, again, called Thoughtful Journey Designer Series Papers, six by six. And there are, again, math on the fly. I believe there are four of each of the designs that I just showed you. So it's a pack of 48 sheets. All right. Then also in that same suite are the adhesive backed Pearl Trio and I probably shouldn't try to go by memory, but usually the colors are the same as the designer paper. So I believe that's Blackberry Bliss. I'm gonna go with Misty Moonlight on that one and um, Calypso Coral probably. Are those, those are the colors that I see when I look at it. I may not be correct, but that maybe, maybe is pretty peacock, but to me that looks a little bit more like the um, Misty Moonlight. So I think that's the color I'm going with on it. So. Wild weed is not gorgeous. <laughs> we'll have to agree to disagree on that one, Tara. <laughs> so we've got the Thoughtful Journey Memories and More card pack. Um, so again, got some nice sentiments in it. It's got the beautiful greenery. Um, this one will make some really nice cards, I think. Make really easy card fronts. Uh, sky is the limit. Also, if you do memory keeping, this is a good one for that. Sending all my love. Flip side. Again, we've got some little polka dots. Life is an adventure. Just some pretty greenery. Oh, that one is, there's my favorite in a mini design. Oh, and I love that one too. So, all right. And then we've got the four by six, uh, Misty Moonlight and Tara is not spot on. <laughs> now I've got two of them ganging up on me about wild wheat. Uh, yeah, anyway. All right. So got a couple more of the cards here, uh, making memories. Eh, treasured memories, thinking of you today. Again, these just make really quick and easy little card fronts. And then this says the best day ever all across it and got blues on the back. So again, those are the Thoughtful Journey Memories and More card pack. Get those out of the way here. And then the final piece of this suite is the Thoughtful Designs 12 by 12 Specialty uh, Designer Series paper. The colors are Cajun Craze. Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Petunia Pop, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So lots of pretty colors in this one. Oh, yeah. I wish I could say it's, a, it's not a substitute for gold. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So this actually is, you, the camera is not deceiving you on this. It actually is kind of that, I don't know, is ombre is probably not the right word for it, but it's like two colors mushed together on it. So we got what looks like Calypso Coral over here and the Petunia Pop over here to me. So I think that's what those two colors are. And then this is like kind of embossed in it. It's not really silver, but it has a little bit of a silver feel to it. Um, it's kind of almost like it's clear embossed with just a, a hint of silver in it to me. That's what I see when I look at it. And then this one has got your shades of blues and purples in it. So really pretty, kind of move it around a little. So hopefully you can see the whole thing. All right. This one has got your shades of peaches and oranges in it. Gonna slide it up a little and then slide it down. This one is not quite as um, stark of a contrast between the colors. It's just a little lighter here and a little darker. Here's what I see on this one. And then we've got greens and a little bit of kind of this must be wild wheat. A little yellow touch to this one and a little bit of green down here on the lower section. And then this one is shades of blue. Again, it's a little lighter blue up here, a little darker blue down here. So got that. All right. And again, that's called Thoughtful Designs 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it's again, part of the whole uh, suite of products. And the suite is called Thoughtful Journey. And... Uh, yeah, it'll be all this will be available on May 1st. So all right. Ooh. The next suite. And just when I get done saying that it's my favorite designer series paper in the catalog, I may have to correct myself because uh, I'm pulling out what I think will be my favorite <laughs> pack of designer series paper in the catalog. So this again is another one of the big um, mega suites with the designer paper, two stamp set bundles in it, and um, yeah, uh, it's got an embossing folder, some gems, some ribbon, 
And is it Country Lace? Is that the name of this one? I don't know. Probably somebody can hop on and correct me. I can't remember what the name of this suite is. But it's awesome. That's what we'll call it. The awesome suite in the catalog. <laughs> this stamp set is called, first one is called uh, Country Flowers. And again, it's a little bit, um, a little smaller on the, the front of the case than it is on the inside. So I'll hold that up and let you take a look at um, the actual size of it. And it's photopolymer. And it's one of those that's designed to be sort of a two-step stamping process. You can stamp the little flower pot, stamp the greenery. You can stamp them together on here, or you can stamp and die cut them and stick them together. So lots of, lots of options with this one. There's a sympathy sentiment in here, best friend ever. The little flower market, will um, you can stamp it on the little bucket. I think it will also fit on the little flower pot. This says sending love and so lucky to know you. Um, I love the roses. I love this set of flowers and I can't wait to do the mixing and the matching on it and putting it on top of the little stool. So this is going to be an awesome one. So Country Lace DSP and Country Woods DSP. So I can't remember the name of the suite though. I, I, I don't know. All good. We'll get it figured out. It's in the catalog. It's the beautiful suite. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so these actually are the country flowers dies, and this one obviously cuts out your little stool. This one will cut out the little uh, teapot. This one cuts out the little pail. This one, this one, and this one will cut out your greenery images or, or your stamp flower images. And then there are some accessory pieces here as well. So little leaves, flowers. Um, this one's kind of a grouping of leaves. Country wood sweet. Okay. Yeah. And I, the country lace didn't sound right to me. And then uh, this one, actually, you can use by itself if you want to, or you can layer it over the top of others. I think I'm trying to remember how I saw it used in the catalog. Um, but there's a little lid that you can use as the top of the teapot. I think it'll work as that. And then the top of the, the pail, I think you can die cut that and put it on there. So, again, going to be a fun one to play with. And uh, can't wait to start stamping with this one. The other bundle in this is called the Country Birdhouse. And for those of you that are bird people, you're gonna love this one. Um, and I love it too. And I'm really not even a, truly a bird person, but I love the love the little birdhouse in it. Um, it's got some good sentiments, hoping you have the best day ever. Happy birthday, hello friend. And again, it's a little bit smaller shown on the cover than it is on the inside. So I'll hold that up and let you take a peek at the inside of the case. Photopolymer stamp set. And the coordinating dies. So we have this one down here that cuts out the birdhouse. This one will cut out your bird, the flower images. Um, and then there are some accessory pieces, so little flowers and leaves. And this one uh, looks like, like the bird hanger thingy, birdhouse hanger. You know what I mean, hopefully. So, um, and then you can also cut out different little roof lines for your birdhouse. You can cut the birdhouse completely separately. You don't need to stamp it. So it's an awesome little die set. I cannot, again, this is another one I can't wait to play with. Don't love birds, but um, birdhouses are another story. I know it's cute. So, all right. Country birdhouse is the name of the stamp set. Country birdhouse dies that coordinate with it. So yeah, definitely another good one. And then also in this suite are the basic gray and smoky slate pearls. And I will hold them up here. They're just, they're a little different in color. Again, I don't know how well it shows on the screen. These are the basic gray, these are the smoky slate, and then there are two different sizes of them. So they're just a little different in color, and I think these will be good. I think even at Christmas you could use these because they look, particularly the smoky slate, looks almost um, silver to me. So these are pretty, and part of this suite, again, available as a suite or not. So. Uh, this is the Eyelid 3D embossing folder, which again is also part of, oh, a gingerbread house at Christmas. That would be perfect, Lois. I'm, yeah. Now you got all kinds of ideas running in my head. <laughs> so um, this is called the Eyelid 3D embossing folder. So this is the artwork. It's kind of hard to show these because I didn't emboss anything with them, but uh, hopefully you can kind of see the artwork on the front. And then I don't know if I hold it up a little bit like this, if that's better or worse for you to look at and see what, what the... Um, embossing folder looks like and it is one of the 3d ones so it's a little thicker so it's the one that you're going to run through the die cutting machine with the uh, dark gray plate especially specialty plate is the name of that one so um, then we've got some ribbon which is petal pink and white one fourth inch diagonal trim combo pack ribbon and it is exactly that diagonal trim so this is the petal pink and then this is the white 
and it's real soft ribbon, so I think, again, this one's gonna be an easy one to tie with. And it's fairly flat, so it's not gonna be a big bulky bow when you get done with it. So, yep, ties up pretty nicely. The only thing to know, and I'm seeing it now as I tie this bow, is that the flip side of the ribbon, the, the good side of it has got kind of the shiny look to it. The flip side of it is a little more dull. So it's definitely a different texture on the back. So it might be one of those that you may, you know, depending on how you want to use it on your card, may not necessarily want to tie a bow, or if you do, you got to kind of maneuver it around and, you know, flip it so that the good side's showing. All right. So again, petal pink and white, quarter inch diagonal trim combo pack. Now we're moving on to the Pretty Designer Series paper. This is the Country Lace 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. The colors are Basic Beige, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, and Smoky Slate. So um, beautiful colors. And this one is just, it's kind of nice, subtle backgrounds. So this has got the Basic Beige in it, which oh, it's, um, this one, uh, I'm trying to get it so that it shows okay in the, the video. It's hard, like I said, it's, the, it's hard to show the colors sometimes, but this one to me, I think would be perfect for wedding stuff. So it's really pretty, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, the back side of it has got the stripes on it. And then this one, it's got your petal pink in it. And then the flip side has got your um, misty moonlight. A little more misty moonlight on that one. And then the flip side, this one just looks like um, fabric, kind of almost like, well, hold it up a little bit. It's almost like um, beige denim look to me, <laughs> if that makes sense. Is there beige denim? There probably is. But that's kind of what it looks like is like a denim type texture um, on the paper. And then another little eyelet look to it. Flip side has got kind of a textured gray so it looks like fabric a little bit on the back side. And then we've got this one that's got the blue with the little polka dots and the whatever those are. Flip side has got your petal pink polka dots, which I love. Hopefully you can see it. Like I said, it's, sometimes the glare is a little weird on it. So hopefully that shows you a little better. And then we've got another eyelet design in gray. And then the flip side is kind of a fabric look in the beige color. Now, like I said, I told you before that was my favorite pack of paper, but those of you that know me and watch my videos will know that this will probably be my very favorite pack. <laughs> so it is a whole pack of Country Woods 12 by 12 designer series paper. The colors are Basic Beige, Basic Gray, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Gray Granite, Misty Moonlight, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, and Wild Wheat. So lots of colors in this one. And it's all wood green. Yay! <laughs> so yes, this is always my favorite paper and always my go-to for anything background-ish is wood green. And I think this will even coordinate well with the airplanes. So we could do the wood green paper and put the airplanes on it. And I think it'd be perfect too. So, well, it's perfect for everything. Flowers and wood green. I don't know. Everything's good. <laughs> so um, this one has just kind of got a uh, little you know, like sh shades of the, the uh, wild weed in there. And there's a little bit of early espresso. And I see the beige in there and a little touch of pink here in there as well. So petal pink in that one. And then the flip side is uh, looks like shades of gray in the wood green. And then we've got this one that looks like an old barn wood to me. So it's a cool, cool, old, old looking um, wood grain on that one. And the flip side has kind of got the whitewashed look. And when I look at it, I see that looks like crumb cake and then a little bit of wild wheat in there. Now this wild wheat, I actually don't mind. So maybe wild wheat's okay if it's just like here and here. <laughs> so, all right. And then this one is again, kind of an old uh, wood grain look to it, which is really cool. And flip side, it's got a little bit of pink in it. So a little pink and white, kind of a whitewash with a touch of pink wood grain. So it looks like an old, old, old house that the paint's starting to peel off, it kind of look. This one I love, kind of a crumb cakey and probably early espresso um, colors in that one. Flip side, it's got your blue. This looks like the beach to me. So we've got the little beach uh, stamp set, perfect background for it would be this one, so. Then we've got uh, early espresso is probably what that one is. Kind of a real dark wood grain. Uh, champagne, mm, maybe for the wild wheat, I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, um, 
So this one is cool. I love the little slats on this one, kind of the thinner wood grain look. Really like the new in colors. I do too. So, and then this is blue, you know, obviously misty moonlight, real pretty painted look. And the flip side, again, this is like gone to the beach. <laughs> so I think this would be perfect with the, the little beach stamp sets that we've got. Um, there's a new stamp set that I'll show you in a second, a new bundle that's got some sand dollars in it, which is really cool. So yeah. All right, let me set this one aside and grab the next stack of stuff. Speaking of basic beige, I was gonna pull this out early on and I forgot to. So this is the new basic beige. Um, there is the, this is three eighths inch bordered ribbon. So it's the same ribbon um, that all the new in colors are come in, but it's basic beige on here. So um, it's just a pretty kind of, again, a nice one for tying bows kind of ribbon and it's flat and yeah, it's pretty. And then this is the ink pad, which again, probably doesn't show you a whole lot about it, but the, um, paper hopefully gives you a good idea of what basic beige will look like. Um, Karen actually who's on here right now mentioned that it looks a little it's like a Sahara sand river rock mushed up together kind of look. It's a very kind of a light gray brown is what I see when I look at it. So I think it's going to be a great neutral color and yes it's a new color and it's going to be in with like the um, basic white and the basic black so it'll be just one of the basic neutrals that I think is going to be around for a good long time. And I love that we have an ink pad in it because very vanilla, we don't. And I love that this one's got one. So that is the new basic beige. Oh. And while I'm showing the paper, I might as well show you this one too. This is pretty cool. This is the textured metallic 12 by 12 specialty paper. And it is bright copper, gold, and I don't even know how to say that. What? Tung, tungsten? probably said it totally wrong, <laughs> but um, we'll just call it a kind of a purpley gray. So um, so this is it, and hopefully you can see the little bit of texture on it. It's cool, which I think a little bit of texture on it will actually make it really nice for die cutting because sometimes you know how when you get the really shiny gold foil and you make a die cut on it and something on your little uh, cutting plates leaves a mark on it and then you're sad and then you recut it and then you got another mark and whatever. This has got marks on it already, so it looks a little distressed, which, yay, I love it. So really pretty. Again, gold. This is that whatever that I don't know how to say is. Um, so to me, it just like, looks like kind of a purpley silver is what I will call it. And again, so I should have looked up how to say it before I started, but I did not. And then we've got copper which love that, um, perfect for all the country stuff, um, perfect when you're gonna heat emboss something. So again, pretty. Next up, we've got a stack of bundles. So this is the Layers of Beauty bundle, and this is probably my favorite kind of individual bundle that we have in the catalog. So it's got a uh, good happy anniversary sentiment in it. It's photopolymer. Um, you make my heart smile, grateful for you. And there's a little God bless. And then we've got some flowers in here. And again, the images are a little bit um, bigger than they appear on the front cover. So a little larger. Photopolymer, like I said. And then there are dies that coordinate with it. So we've got the, the larger outline one that will cut out this image. And then we've got the little ones that will cut out your flowers, stamped flowers and leaves. Um, I think there's, yep, there's even one for this little tiny flower here as well. And then there's a little, this one, cut your little tag. So if you wanted to cut that, put it on a little tag or just a for you or whatever, sort of a, um, just a little tag die cut that goes with it. And then a couple of additional greenery pieces. Um, this is again, it's called Layers of Beauty. And it's got one of those awesome, awesome sets of decorative masks or stencils that go with it. Um, so these are, they're so pretty. Um, stencils, if you haven't purchased them from Stampin' Up, they're pretty awesome because they kind of help us to figure out what we're supposed to be doing with these. Um, I don't know how well it shows up on the video, but they're numbered one, two, three, four, five. So it tells you what order um, you want to layer them on. Plus they all have the little notch up here in the upper left corner. So as you're putting them together, as long as you generally put the this in the upper left corner when you layer the next piece on over the top of it and the next piece after that, everything should line up pretty easily for you. Tungsten is steel. Ah, nice. All right. <laughs> good, 
good to know. So, all right. So these again are the little decorative masks and they match up with the flower images. We have a set that's in the current mini catalog called Enduring Beauty, which also works the same way where it's got masks that layer over the top of, or you can layer the masks add your with ink with your blending brushes and stamp over the top or stamp first and then add your ink or you can stamp in color or do whatever you want with it but this is beautiful and i love it so again called layers of beauty and when you order the bundle all of this comes in the bundle together so the masks come with the the die set and the stamp set so all right and then we have these Citrus Blooms dies. And this one, actually, I used um, the stamp set on my card that I shared on my blog this morning. So if you want to go take a peek at it in action and live, um, you can see it out there today. So love this one. This was actually the my stamp set bundle that I picked for the... We had an evening event where we could, it was optional, and we could do some stamping, which I was way too tired to do stamping by the time the evening rolled around. But I was still happy to, to be able to... Um, grab the bundle. Yay. <laughs> so uh, this is the, again, Citrus Blooms stamp set. And then it is bundled with these beautiful dies called Citrus Blooms. The first piece of the dies, you'll see cuts the, the stamped images and the little flowers that are here. And then there's this beautiful framed piece. So this is actually three separate dies on here. So this is one die that cuts out the edge and it gives you a little, um, little kind of dotted edge to your die cut. And then this piece cuts out greenery that will be on the inside and I'm assuming that these two will work together so you'll have to cut this one to me doesn't like the greenery piece I should probably just pull it off here so this piece I don't think has got a cutting edge all the way around it so I think you'll have to use it with this and it'll just cut a pretty little frame on here and oh thanks Carol and hey Jackie thanks for hopping in and then this is the a center kind of greenery piece as well so all right, so this is the Citrus Blooms stamp set bundle. Next up, we've got In the Grove, and this is a, um, I think it's, is it photopolymer? Yeah, uh, nope, it's a red rubber stamp set. And a little bit smaller on the front cover, this is showing it at 90%, called In the Grove. Um, it's a little larger on the inside. Got the cool In the Grove dies. So again, we've got the outline ones that will cut out your stamped images in here, one for the tree. Uh, one for the little fox. And then there are a couple of additional. I don't know if you can see what that is, but he's a little squirrel. <laughs> and he's really cute. And then there's a little bunny in here. And then this is like a little row of trees, a little row of evergreen trees, I should say. And then this one will cut out your framed um, birch tree kind of look to it. So again, this is called In the Grove. Hey, Marva, thanks for hopping on. So this is the one that I was telling you about, that we have a new sand dollar bundle that will be perfect with that wood grain paper. Well, perfect with any paper, but the wood grain is really going to look good with this. And it's called Seaside Wishes. So this is the stamp set. It's photopolymer. Love the sand dollars. And then this says, you absolutely made my day. Your friendship is the best gift. Love you. Sometimes the simplest things mean the most. And then just got little, this is like little rocks. And then we've got the little... Um, starfish that are the little skinny ones and uh yeah so this is seaside wishes this is a stamp set and then it coordinates with dies called the seaside wishes dies and this and this you can cut out with the the dies the starfish you can cut out with the dies and then this is like kind of a seaweed look um, for these two actually you can you don't have to stamp the images you can um just die cut and this will cut out the center as well and give you kind of the textured look of a sand dollar. Or you can take the 3D embossing folder, um, and these actually, this is a set together so that you get the embossing folder and the dies together because they're a hybrid 3D embossing folder. And then we've got the Seaside Wishes, and with the bundle, you'll get all three pieces of this. So this die actually is designed to, oh, if I can get it off the sheet, fit inside the embossing folder and it kind of it doesn't like lock super super well in place but uh, it locks in you can set it in you can tell when it's set in the right spot and then you can stamp your images put them in the embossing folder and then run it through and it will cut and emboss the starfish at the same time. So it's gonna give them some nice texture and kind of some depth and I absolutely can't wait to play with this one. So there you go. Now if I can figure out how to get, 
<laughs> I'll stick it back together later. All right. And this is a little bit of what your the 3D embossing folder is going to look like when it embosses. So no worries, Carol. I knew what you meant. <laughs> so this one is really cute. And I was a little on the fence about it when I initially saw it in the catalog. But then, of course, uh, there was a demonstrator that presented a whole pile of samples with it, and I could not get it. <laughs> it's really cute. It's called Attention Shoppers. And uh, it's about 95%, so it's a little bigger actual stamp set. There we go. And then it has dies that go with it. So the little grocery cart actually is not designed to work with this die. This is designed to work separately, so you can stamp the grocery cart or you can die cut the grocery cart. And then the, these images, actually, you can stamp and die cut if you would like to do that. So it's a cute little set and yeah, a grocery cart. How could you not love it? <laughs> so it's really cute. So I can't wait to start playing with this one. Make some samples with it as well. And then if you were a fan of Lovely as a Tree, you're going to love Loveliest Tree. Um, this is a bundle as well. You just ordered yours this morning. Yay! So um, need, oh, no, yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> so, and yes, the little veggies in the cart is what sold me too. <laughs> so, all right. Loveliest Tree is a new bundle that Stampin' Up! has. It's got the really pretty tree, very similar to Lovely as a Tree, but this one has dyes. So yay, simple sentiments. So this is one if you're a newer stamper, that might be just a good basic set to have because it's got a lot of sentiments in it that you can use for almost everything. And then just a basic uh, tree image that's really easy to stamp and die cut. And then this is like the tree top that'll go on the top of... This is obviously your tree trunk. And then we've got the little greenery piece or the leaves that you can die cut and put on the top. Um, the samples that I saw actually had the tree sort of stuck together this way so you could see the tree um, with the, the leaves kind of in the background. And then there are the little leaves that you can die cut here and then this cuts out that stamped image. So another great, kind of just a good basic all around stamp set that everybody needs, so. And the final bundle that I was able to order is called Hearts and Hugs, and this one is way too cute. And I will have to say, if Mary's still here, she'll have to admit that this one is really cute. She was on the fence about it. She didn't love it. <laughs> but the little badgers, yeah, it's a little odd to see two badgers hugging, but all good. <laughs> so then we've got a thanks, uh, sending a big hug. So it's, um, so it's there when you need it. And oh, sending a big hug, so it's there when you need it. Okay. Uh, sending birthday hugs, and I could just hug you. So the little mouse and the little hamster is, I love those two images. <laughs> so and there's walruses there. So anyway, it's just a cute little, a fun stamp set bundle. And then we have all the dies, the open dies that will cut out all of your stamped images. This one cuts out little hearts. This one cuts out hearts, flowers, um, more flowers, extra set of hearts. And then this one is your sentiment banner. So very cute. And oh, again, this is another one where it's a little bit smaller on the case than it actually is. So open it up and you can take a peek at the actual size of it. A walrus for Christmas. Yeah, I think that was a book a long time ago. <laughs> when I was a kid, I feel like that was the name of a book. All right, let me set those aside and grab the next little stack. Almost dropped all that. Um, so there's a new background stamp called Leaf Collection. And um, yeah, it's leaves. So there you go. And it's a big background stamp. So this will be fun to, to uh, stamp kind of monotone sort of look, you know, green on green. Perfect for a background. And then this one is called Under the Moon. And uh, it's a very cool kind of, I don't know, moon sky. There's the little dolphins. It's one of the two-step stamping ones. So... This one will be fun to play around with. Create your little um, moonlight scene. So it's cute. The final thing, I think final, well, second to final thing that I have to show you is Stampin' Up! has got kind of a new product line that's for a little bit more simple stamping. Um, so these are, it's called Simply Said. And again, it's one of those good generic stamp sets that we just all need to have sentiments around for. So if you're a little newer to stamping, this would be a great stamp set to start with. And then they've got a bunch of ephemera packs, and I'll show you those in a minute. And some mixed, oh, I guess I have embossing folders to show you too. Let me get those set aside. Hi. All right. Then we've got some card 
bases and envelopes that you can kind of mix and match the ephemera packs with your card bases and envelopes. And if you want to stamp a little sentiment on here and there, you have that to do it as well. So again, it's a great little stamp set, just a general one that you need. Um, stamp it on the inside will be great. And then they've got these cool, this is the Sunny Springs with an S on it, cards and envelopes. So card base, card base, whoop card base, another one, and another one. And then there are coordinating envelopes with the similar, like obviously those go together. Here's my blue flowers. So we've got coordinating already decorated envelopes for you, for those of you that love to decorate your envelopes, which is not me because I'm too lazy. Um, so card bases. And then they have these ephemera packs that it's like a bunch of die cut, and there's more than what you see here on the top, but I didn't want to pull it all apart because there it's a lot of different sheets, but tons of different die cut pieces that you can kind of mix and match with your card bases, even a big pack of sentiments, um, mix and match with the card bases just to create little fun cards. So, uh, or two orders, need to do a third? Yes, yes you do. Just order it all, see? <laughs> <laughs> and then, then you won't be sad. So, and then this other set of cards and envelopes is called Calm, Calming Creek Cards and Envelopes. So again, got all the coordinating envelopes. And here are the card bases in that one. In the packs of card bases, it's just five card bases and envelopes in a pack, and they're all different designs. So I shouldn't say all different. I mean, there are five different designs in the two different card base options that they have. So very cool. Anyhow, so again, these will be fun just for quick and easy cards, a little mixing and matching, and a fun to do. So, <coughs> Tara, I don't know what you were thinking. See, you just need to listen and tell, you know, order like I do and just get it all, and then you're never sad. <laughs> so, all right. Um, well, this is the second to final for real this time. Things that I have to show you are some new embossing folders, and these things are huge. They are, I think they measure like eight inches or eight and a half inches by five inches, I think is the size of them. They're enormous. So if you make five by seven cards, you will love these. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, they're big and you can take different pieces. So if you wanna do um, two card bases or two card fronts in here at one time, you could probably fit two card fronts at one time through it and then cut it down the middle, whatever. So this one is called Dotted Circles 3D Embossing Folder, which is exactly what it is, Dotted Circles. So it's cool. And yeah, 3D. And then there's another embossing folder, similar uh, concept to it. This one is not a 3D, so it's just a standard embossing folder. And this one is called So Swirly, which again, it's just so swirly. <laughs> so um, you like the larger ones? I have never used one, so I'm interested to see how much more stuff I can fit through it. <laughs> so anyhow, so these are gonna be fun to play with. So, but yeah, I know it's always difficult when you're doing something that's a little bit larger than what the embossing folder is and then it never works out right. So I'm glad that we've got some larger options. So last thing, and this really wasn't a pre-order item, but it will be coming soon, is a new kit. And it's called something, oh, Hooray for Honeycomb, which it's really cute. It's got some little, on the inside, you know how you have it, open it and have it be a little honeycomb on the inside. There's a sun on this one, a little hot air balloon on this one. And then this one has a little strawberry honeycomb on the front. But this is a new kit that is coming from Stampin' Up! And it will be available starting in early April. They didn't give us an exact date, I don't think. If they did, I don't remember. So um, so this is just a new kit that we got as um, part of attending the onstage event in um, Houston. So there you go. So that is everything that I was able to pre-order and or got at the event. So yeah, um, all this beautiful new stuff will be available starting on the 1st of May. And um, if you're a customer of mine, I'll be sending out this beautiful catalog to you in early April. As soon as I get them, I can order them on April 2nd. Then they have to be shipped to me and then I have to pack them up and send them out. So I'm expecting by mid-April, you'll have your catalogs. And um, yeah, if you want to get your hands on this product a little earlier, join in as a demonstrator. This is an excellent time to do it. Um, or you can join on, starting on April 2nd when the demonstrator pre-order starts, and then you can add the pre-order items to your order, to your starter kit order. So that's always a great deal too. If you join, you get at least a 20% discount on everything that you order um, as a demonstrator and, 
and you get to come, you know, hang out at events and do fun stuff. We did over the weekend in Houston. So that's all that I have for today. I appreciate you all being here and hanging with me for an hour plus. I've been yakking forever. So <laughs> um, I appreciate you being here. I will be back with an actual card project on Friday instead of just a video showing you all the cool new stuff. Um, I don't know what we're going to play with, but we'll get a card project done for you around two o'clock Eastern time on Friday. I'll be back. So back to my usual time. And then next week, Tuesday, um, my daughter and I, my younger one and I, are actually going to head out of town for her spring break, so I'll be gone, so I won't be live, but I'll be back the Friday after that. So I will plan to see you all on Friday, and then again next week Friday, around 2 o'clock Eastern Time. So thanks, everybody, for joining me today, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have questions on anything. If you're interested in joining, we'd love to have you come join the team and get the discount for yourself and be able to pre-order all this awesome stuff early. So have a wonderful rest of your day. We will chat with you all soon.